Hey guys, how's it going? Josh here. So, let's talk about some Transformers here. So the new movie, Transformers The Last Night, is coming out in 2017. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little excited, but I'm also a little cautious because the last movie put me to sleep. So, I'm really kind of curious to see what they do next. Honestly, with Michael Bay, I hope for the best, but I expect, you know, for the, you know, I prepare for the worst, but you hope for the best kind of thing. This movie showed us a lot of un Optimus Prime things in the trailer. You know, Optimus Prime was attacking Autobots. He had purple eyes, which is what we're going to talk about primarily in this video. But he also apologized before he attacked, I think, Bumblebee it was. And let's be honest, Michael Bay's Optimus Prime is a heartless killing machine. This dude does not apologize before he attacks you. Shoots first, asks questions later. So I'm sure he did something bad in his young days. He, he's an edgy Optimus Prime in this you know movie universe. The, the you know daycare sitter is probably like Optimus, why'd you do that? And he was probably like, well, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Like that's that's literally the type of personality this Optimus Prime has. Like he is heartless in these movies. So you definitely know something's wrong with him when he's at you know when he's apologizing before he's about to kill you. But anyways, all jokes aside, um. Yeah, he has purple eyes in this trailer, predominantly in the trailer for the movie, and it's usually a sign of dark energon exposure, or at least like kind of influence of dark energon. Now, I'm going to base a lot of what I say off of the recent Transformers Prime cartoon. Reason why being because it was a good cartoon, but also because it has a lot of similarities to what the movies have been doing. So I feel like I could base a lot of what I say off of that. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, um, the two theories I have primarily with the, the Dark Energon is Nemesis Prime and Unicron. Now, the first theory is that Unicron obviously could have, while Optimus Prime is in deep space, could have found Optimus Prime, kind of influenced Optimus Prime, maybe revived Optimus Prime using Dark Energon, and then sent Optimus back to Earth. And you could probably call Optimus Prime Nemesis Prime at this point. This may be the Transformer Bayverse version of Nemesis Prime. However, that would be a very simple way to go with it, and I don't think they're going to go with that route. I think Nemesis Prime is going to be a separate entity altogether than Optimus Prime. And what I hope they do, which God knows they probably won't, but I hope they do, um, the thing where in the Transformers Prime cartoon, Nemesis Prime was the government making a copy of Optimus Prime that was controllable. Now, the reason why I could see them doing this is because as far as the government is concerned, governments of Earth at least, from what we saw in the trailer, they believe Optimus Prime abandoned them. Basically abandoned Earth, left the Autobots here to, you know, rust and die, essentially. From the tone of how Anthony Hopkins said, you know, Optimus Prime has left us, that's kind of what I got from that. We saw in the last movie when they made Galvatron that the government has the technology now to make Transformers. They only need basically the software. And they kind of got the software from Megatron's remains in the last movie. So it's not too far-fetched for me to believe that you know they've developed that further and further and further to the point where now they feel like they can make a copy of Optimus Prime. Now this would be very interesting to see because... Although relations between the Autobots and the humans are strained, I wouldn't imagine it would be so strained to the point where they would make a perverted version of Optimus Prime. Like, that just seems like a huge slap in the face. But it would be literally what they did in the Transformers Prime cartoon for their Nemesis Prime, because that was Nemesis Prime, was basically their man-made Optimus. And the reason why I would rather them do this is because... It would not only be kind of cool to see, but it would also build off of the last Transformers movie and make the last Transformers movie mean something. Because for all intents and purposes, it looks like they're going to totally forget about the Galvatron thing, which is sad because that could be a cool kind of plot. You know, that could be a cool thing that they build off of in the sequels. But, you know, also it'd be cool because we could still have the Unicron thing with Optimus in space. We could have that plot, and then, you know, concurrently, we could have the plot with, you know, Nemesis Prime on Earth with the Autobots and all of them. I doubt they'll do it, though, but it would be cool to see. So the most likely option is it is Dark Energon corruption of Optimus Prime's body from Unicron. And Unicron probably finds Optimus in space. I don't know why Optimus is shut down. He went into deep space feeling very full of himself, but, you know, you never know. 
So comment below what your guys' thoughts. You know, why is Optimus Prime, you know, wearing purple eyes? I mean, I doubt they make contacts for Autobots or Cybertronians. Do you want to see the Nemesis Prime thing, kind of how they did it with the cartoon? I know it's kind of a repeat of what they did with Galvatron, but with the new riders they have, hopefully they could actually do a good job, Lord willing. Um, and then also with the two side plots, they could actually make a four hour long movie and hopefully not make me and everyone else in America fall asleep. But comment below what, what you guys would like to see for this movie, why you guys think Optimus has purple eyes. And with all that said and done, I'll see you guys later.